Only on Fox 11, nearly half of all Americans suffer from at least one chronic disease, many without answers, including the women you're about to meet. But they found hope in a little-known test that's helping a lot of people. I kind of got to a point where I thought I wasn't going to get any better. I lived with pain basically 24-7. Kelsey Oliver and Charlene Ball suffered collectively for more than 15 years enduring chronic symptoms that stumped their doctors to the point both women, Ball in Orange County, Oliver in Oklahoma, could no longer function well enough to work. Even my ability to get pregnant. I was under 100 pounds within months. Ball's official diagnosis, lupus, an autoimmune disease. Oliver's, interstitial cystitis, a bladder disorder. Their shared struggle, their tests came back negative. I had numerous traditional cultures come back, um, not showing any infection. One story I showed that kind of put this technology on the map was it made the front page of the New York Times in 2014. Rick Martin, a veteran and former Pfizer executive, is the CEO and owner of a Texas-based DNA testing company called Microgen DX. It's this technology that helped save the life of this 14-year-old Wisconsin boy who came down with a mystery illness after vacationing in the Caribbean. They told the parents he was probably going to die, but they said, we want to do one last test. That test, Martin is working to get in widespread use, uses next-generation DNA sequencing. It uses the DNA from an infected sample and matches it to a database of more than 50,000 species of bacteria and fungi with a 99% accuracy, something traditional cultures all too often miss. Of all the diagnostic tools, the one we tried, we have to use to identify bacteria is still from the 1800s. For the teenager, the test identified a bacteria from animal feces found in the Caribbean. It didn't grow in the cultures. They never found it. DNA found it and saved his life. While that was a rare case, Microgen DX clinical studies have shown the testing superior to culturing all sorts of infections. The most common? Women with recurrent chronic UTI. Top hospitals, including UCLA Medical Center, are now using Microgen DX. Private doctors, too, including Dr. Kelly McCann of Costa Mesa, Ball's doctor, who discovered the testing method two years ago. I just jumped at the idea that there was a better alternative than culture. How many patients has it helped in your practice alone? Probably dozens, if not hundreds. That includes Ball, who after more than a decade of no answers, got them and some relief. We were able to use the technology to pinpoint what the antibiotics, the antimicrobials were that were going to do the job. How has this particular test made a difference for you? It's given me hope. And the energy to be an active grandmother. Remember Oliver's cultures that never showed an infection? Well, when the Microgen DX results came back, there was, um, I believe, seven or eight strands of bacteria that um, were identified. Oliver's doctor treated each one, and now the 32-year-old who was having a hard time getting pregnant says she lives pain-free. I'm now pregnant with our second child. Why isn't this more well known? Your insurance might not cover it, and that's what's happening. Martin says he's trying to convince insurance companies that have long relied on LabCorp or Quest to turn to his dual certified lab. In the meantime, each test runs a patient about $250, but Oliver and Ball say their health is priceless. It was worth that a hundred times over to get my life back. Now I feel like I can get there again. Both women are now back to work and living a much more normal, comfortable life. For more information, you can visit our website. It's all posted there, foxla.com. So cool to see. So what kind of infections, other than what we just talked about, sure. are we thinking about? Everything here? from sinus to respiratory to orthopedic, when you go in for surgery and you wow. hear that your knee gets infected after surgery and then the doctors can't pinpoint what's wrong. I mean, the, the stories, the success stories that Rick Martin shared with me, it's just endless. Yeah. You could tell them all night long. I'd love to see that feeling of hope for yeah, that. Yeah, for well. sure.